This is insane. It's like you sat here yesterday. And this has probably been left here for about 50 to 60 years. 19... 1949, everyone. And these here. This must have been the lady and man of the house. Genuine Ford part accessories. on the road trip <laughs> okay it might feel like that but day six on the road trip we woke up we actually had a really good accommodation last night super clean super cheap it was like 11 euros each it was a it was like a, a, a room private room in an apartment josh and john got their own room we got our own room i mean it was cool like big double bed bunk beds and the whole place is like a millionaire palace it's like a bachelor pad it's really cool as you can see over there the baby's outside waiting for us, and we're gonna go and take, and we're gonna go and take a look at a car graveyard right now. Not on the scale of the scrappy scheme, but I've heard of some pretty pretty cool cars there. And if it's not gonna be that good, I'm gonna blend it with something else because we've got Castle Wolfenstein as well. Yep. Oh, in here, in here. I don't have a light on me. Do you have a light? I've got my phone light. So, I'm on foot right now with Dan. We're going to go explore this car graveyard. The first stop of the day. Nothing really to it, so we're just going to go in right now. Yo, it's very dark. Oh, this is fucking legit right here, man. It's very dark. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a straight up vintage gem right there. Super old Beetle. This is a Beetle, right? Yeah, it's been smashed up though. You guys didn't know Dan's a car guy, so he knows this stuff. Mm -hmm. you just have to do that. A lot of these cars are ranging from the 30s to the 60s. Something I noticed while traveling right now is that there's a lot of Ford cars out here, surprisingly. I thought it was only America based, and when I was in Asia, you didn't see any, so it's pretty interesting to actually see Ford cars out here of America. I mean, it's super dark in here, so I've got to apologize for the lack of light. I wasn't expecting it to be so dark in here. But luckily, I've got the A7S2, and it is really good in low light. And I brought it down to 50. A lot of people are saying, oh, you're you recording ancient technology. Why are you only doing 1440 in 50 frames? Well, there's a reason behind it. I could do 4K, you know, 4K 30 frames, or I could do 1440 at 60 frames. But the less frames, the better low light. And I do film in a lot of low light situations. So we bring it down to 50 frames. I still get that super sharp, crisp look. Wow, that's weird. I do get that super sharp, crisp look. But I get a bit more extra light as well. Look at all these doors. All these panels and body parts hanging up. So this must have been some form of breaker's yard then. I'm guessing that's why they're here. But you look inside this, look how well, I mean there's only a little bit of rust in there. You would expect a car of this age to just be rusted through to the bottom, but maybe these have been dry stored for a long time. Go 
garage full of cars, eh? Anything good down there? Oh, she got this look right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, let me see. Wait, is that a, F, is that a GTO? Is this a GTO? I don't know. Is it? Um, Hold on. No. Wait, no, that's a Ford Capri. What's a Ford Capri? Oh, oh. Uh, no, let me, let me check the front. Yeah, check the front. Let no, me. it's not. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a Ford Capri. Uh, I could be wrong. Huh. There should be something on the back. Only reason why I say that is because it has the vents there. Uh, I'm almost positive this is a. I'm almost positive this is a Mark One Ford Capri convertible uh, GT. I'm almost positive it is. Maybe the steering wheel. Look at the side of the car now, guys. It'd be crazy to see one of these. Obviously, I love my cars, but I don't know all cars. I don't claim to know all cars. I like my retro classics. I like being my old BMWs. I'm a BMW connoisseur. I have an E30. Um, I've had E30. Fours, E39s, E36s, E46s. Uh, I've had a lot of BMWs, so that's where my specialty. That's where my specialties lie. But obviously, I do like I do like a lot of the other cars. But a lot of 70s, pre 70s, I'm not that crude upon. So you guys have got to help me out. But I'm pretty sure this is a Mark One Ford Capri convertible GT. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. But if I'm wrong, I'm gonna have a lot of people laughing at me. <laughs> that's right, Dan. Yeah, that's right. I'm oh, not so, sure of it. So see, I'm seeing a lot of old Fords in here. So, the long, actually, the insides are really, apart from that one, a lot of the insides are in really good condition, to be honest. But this is not all. There's more outside. There's more in some other parts. And this is only the first car graveyard of this video. I'm actually going to film another location and then later on in the day I'm going to film another car graveyard which I'm going to combine with this one. So you've seen two car graveyards in one video. I don't want to I don't want to spread it out for you guys. I'd rather just get it all in one video rather than making you watch two videos. Alright, John, let's let's go and see what other treasures we can find. Yeah. Let's I do it. Out there a bit. Oh wait, there's a there's a room back back here, John. Oh, there's a room back here? Yeah. Let's check it out. Oh, it's not a... oh, it's just a storage room. Yeah. So they'd be labelling parts up on here, having parts on the side. So yeah, this was definitely some form of breaker's yard. That must mean there's an upstairs. Yeah. Wanna check it out? Yep.
Cool this would have been the oil room. This is the oil room? Yeah, yeah, well these are all oil filters on the floor. No, nothing back here. Well, let's go and find some more cars, John. We need more cars. More cars. Cars. It's absolutely trashed up here. Not a bunch of tires or anything. Oh, that's the wheel room, yeah. Yeah. Tires Just all, all steel over. wheels. That's cool, though. A steering column with a steering wheel still yeah. attached. That's cool. That's lit. Yeah. This has been well and truly trashed. Yeah. Oh wait, what's this here? Look at the calendars. Huh. Oh, yeah. Dude, tell me that's not like the car from Initial D right there. Is that it? The Sierra? No, that's, yeah, that's the Sierra, but that's the Sierra, Ford Sierra, uh, Cosworth. The one from Initial D is a Toyota Corolla. Oh, it's a Toyota, uh, A86, yeah. AE86 11 GT. Oh, snap. Dude, Dan really knows this stuff. <laughs> I just love that. That's my dream car, that's right there. Car? Yeah. Cool. I see you around the street sometimes. Like, e even yeah. with the um, with the tofu writing on it, I'd love that. Oh, okay. In okay. black and white. Ah, oh, black and white too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A really old car. Look at that, it's a big engine, a big six cylinder, probably from a truck. Oh, there's a big V8 over there in the corner. That looks like a truck engine. Damn. Massive V8. It's funny because I'm looking at this, I would have never, never known that this is a six cylinder. But Dan mentioned it. You know, there's more cars here. Oh, snap, we're on to something. We are. We are. Yes. Just ahead of me is a little bit few more cars here, so I'm going to analyze this. That's a fancy red car. Let's see how we do it. Wow, actually, that's a, is that a Willy Jeep? Actually, I think that is. Like a series one or that is really cool. So I do think there was more, but it looks to me like they've been clearing a lot of this out. Um, yeah, it does 100% look like they've recently cleared most of this, so there probably was more. Uh, unfortunately, they've probably gone, because yeah. as you can see, the, they started stacking them up. So you can join me later on, which will probably be in about 30 seconds, at the next car graveyard we find, because we're going to go and record another location, but then we're going to another car graveyard. I'm going to combine both of these videos, just so you don't have to mess around and watch two videos. So unfortunately, there's not much here. It was definitely worth coming and checking out, just in case there was any hidden gems. <laughs> Made it. Oh, look at that, there's an old wire wheel there. So if you are new to my channel, or if you subscribe to my channel back when I did the car scrappage scheme and it went viral, then stay tuned because I have more car graveyards coming up. Uh, car graveyards is something that I love doing. I love going and seeing all these rusty old junk and especially when we find them hidden gems like we did in Italy. We found that Mark 1 Capri GT and we found that really really rare Lancia. And if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Join me on my world adventures as I go around the world pretty much. I drive around the planet. If I can drive there it's going to be dumb. So yeah, not much else to see here. We're going to our next location. Oh wait a minute, I will take a quick look at this though. This looks very, very interesting. It looks like something you'd see on Mad, Mad Max. It looks like some kind of buggy, but it looks like it's got tractor wheels on the back. Really weird. What do you think, 
Yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's good to come and see and check just it's in case. Good. It's always good. You never know when you're going to find a gem. Yeah, I mean, technically there's still a, a lot of abandoned cars, but up there there's not that much, but I think it's a lot better than the other place we went. Really? Well, I like the nature, that's why. Yeah, that's true. I do like this woods. I like the nature. That actually looks cool. Should we just peek in there really quick? Did I go? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you ain't missing much. Dude, you are no, missing. Not. Huh? That's why you don't see with the camera in my hand, boys. Yeah, you're just not a car guy, that's why. You're not a true vlogger. <laughs> Part-timer. Uh, before I go, I'm going to take one quick look at this over here. It kind of looks military. Although I don't think it is. It's super old, whatever it is. I think it is military to be honest. If you know what any of these cars are for sure, hundred percent just leave a comment. Just tell me your thoughts. What you, what do you think it is? <laughs> the engine literally sits next to you. <laughs> now that is crazy. It acts, it acts, that'll keep you warm in the winter for sure. Anyway, we gotta go because we've got to do some massive chateaus. Actually, the Ah, I completely forgot to tell you. Next video, we are doing the most untouched house on the planet. It was abandoned in 1940s and has remained completely frozen in time. From what I've been told, the last person who was in there only last week, not a thing has been moved in 70 years. Whole farm area. Yeah. So yeah, this is a washer and dryer. You put all your, your stuff in there. I think this is like a water pump here. I think that was, yeah, I think there's a water pump of some sort. Put all your clothes in, spin them around, and then you dry them through here. Or maybe when you turn that, I actually roll these. Yeah, that's super old. Yeah, I like that. I mean, if that's in here, what else is here? <laughs> oh, a really old furnace there. That's super old. Is that whiskey or something? Yeah, I think that's whiskey of some sort. Oh, oh, Josh. More jars. But these are actual, you can see these are vegetables and stuff. So no uh, bugs in a jar. <laughs> Not in this one. This is awesome. Lots of fruit up there as well. Remember we went inside the Italy abandoned mansion we found the old uh, wine cellars. Oh, I don't know, was that with you? No, I wasn't there. Oh, damn. You wouldn't take me to that one. Damn, sorry, I almost <laughs> forgot. So I could have sworn it was you. I guess you're right. I remember I was with Steve and someone else. Yeah, Steve was there. What is this? Strat So I don't know what that is. It looks cool. Some, some sort of rich name brand. I just like looking at the old jar shapes. You know what? <laughs> Out of all the houses we filmed in the last four or five days, how much videos we created, I think everyone knows 
what things hair look like from back in the day now. We filmed so yeah. many houses and farmhouses. It's literally insane. Way too many. Too many. So much death. <laughs> death. Every house is just death. Abandoned death. It's so morbid and dark. What's over there, John? Yeah, I'll be upstairs. I'm just looking through. Oh, what is over here? Oh, I was just here. Wait, was I? No, it's another oven. Look at that. Josh pointed out something that this was actually a recipe. It's a stone bake oven, yeah. Stone bake oven. I've never yeah. seen a stone yeah, so, bake oven yeah. before. So, from what everyone was telling me that this is a stone brick. This is a, from what everyone was telling me this is a stone bake oven. So what they do with this part is they put loads of firewood to one side of it right. and then you'd scoop your pizzas over that side oh. and the heat from the wood would give it this really nice stone baked, um, you know, char grilled taste right. to it. It's really nice. Do they, do they still do that? Hey, oh modern, yeah. They do that in modern times? Yeah. You can oh, yeah. pizza like that. All the time from most Italians. In fact, uh, no, the Italian we went to last night was a modern day oven, but most Italian places, uh, even even in the UK, have a stone baked oven. And when we was in Italy, right. everything was stone baked. There wasn't everything. A, yeah, yeah. There wasn't all electric ovens. Uh, oh, that's unique. This is definitely a time capsule house. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to take finer looks at things, but first I'm going to go around and see. Wow. Damn, look at this, look at the wire. Like how, what, what way, look at that. It's made out of wood, not even metal. Yes. I've never seen anything like this ever. Yeah, I, this is a cool find in the photo in the back. Wow, it's actually a, it's a wooden lamp, it's a wooden uh, chandelier. Oh, I didn't even, oh, I didn't even know that. Dude. That's cool. Okay, so we have done, a lot of houses while we've been on this trip. But do you know what? They started to get a bit boring. I, I, I wouldn't say boring, but repetitive. It was hard to talk about them. But this place is actually a breath of fresh air because of how old it is. Everything is different. The, 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 the things in here are made out of wood instead of metal. It's that old. So they say it's been abandoned since like the 40s or 50s. Um, I'm walking around, I'm definitely seeing that. I'm seeing some electrical items, but a lot of it is like gas items. Instead of electrics, uh, instead of metal, it's wooden. So let's keep exploring and see what else we can find. This place is great. Yeah, this is insane. I could imagine like this really rich guy sat there at his table, weighing out his money. He's, he could have been even dealing in gold. Wheeling, dealing, boys. <laughs> Because this estate that we're on, in fact, Luxembourg itself is beautiful. We drove through it for about half an hour. I haven't seen a small house yet. Everyone lives in mansions. So there's a lot of money around here. So, yeah, I'm guessing this was a wealthy person's house. This is insane. It's like you sat here yesterday. And this has probably been left here for about 50 to 60 years. <laughs> 50 to let that sink in 50 to 60 years this has just been sat here Dude, that's like haunting that's double my age right now <laughs> it's like nearly triple your age yeah that's crazy just think <clears throat> when no one's around this is this is so this is one thing that i really think about a lot i don't know if it's me it's kind of strange but this stuff when no one's around when we're not around other explorers are not around this stuff is just sat here in utter silence for years and years and years on end. And for me, I find, I find that really weird, knowing that this place can just stay silent for so many years. I love this lamp. This lamp is almost like a steampunk style. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Right, let's go and take a look at the rest of the house. But I'm really impressed so far. This has been a breath of fresh air. Oh 
I'll get, I'll get a stir away. Oh. Now that's insane. Have you walked up there? Uh, yeah, Carl did. Oh, is it? Oh, so it should be okay. <laughs> should be. What, a projector? No. Screen? What the hell? We don't know what happened with that. That's weird. Yeah. And there's a tele. Oh! I think they might have been. Someone might have been doing a bit of filming here. Cause look, I know the director. RTL director's chair. Yeah. That's what I know. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Weird. Let's go and see what else we can find. What other clues? <laughs> now that's a big clue right there. I don't know if you can see that well, but the spider webs up there are incredible. I can't even believe I'm walking towards them. I'm. <sighs> I'm not going to walk any closer towards them, but I can already see monster, and I mean monster sized spiders. I mean, look at the skeleton of that one there. I don't even know how, how well you can see. Why is the hallway so long? I don't know. <laughs> but look at the spider webs. Dude, this is spider hallway. Oh, there's a white spider there. What? It's like a white one. I don't know if it says it's a skeleton or. I don't know, there's just so many. I just can't believe this hallway. It's a long hallway. It's been, look at there's two ways in the house. You walk all the way down here, but you can go back out the backyard, and you just walk in here. <laughs> That's the most weirdest setup. Alright, well, I'm going to go upstairs. I want to risk it, because these stairs don't really look that sick. No, look above you. Look here. I just saw someone walk past upstairs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a hole in the floor. Alright. Be careful. I'm coming up behind you. I wait for me though. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I don't know. Josh weighs a lot, so I've got to stay behind, <laughs> I back away from him. <laughs> I was just walking up here, ready? Some sort of like cards. I'm going up. Look at these stairs. It's insane. Dude. Yeah, we really got to be careful. Very careful. What's over there? I'm going to pull out. Should I go explore? Keep that both up. Spiders. Spiders? Yeah. Alright. Oh, I don't know where to walk on the floor. Look at the old little chandelier there. Definitely took my time getting up those stairs. They're very dangerous. All the plaster that's falling off the off the wall is sitting all on the stairs as well. What? I'm trying to work out how you use this old bedpan. Huh. Just stick your doodah in and use that to empty it. Empty it? Is it? Yeah. It's rough and hard. Yeah. What's rough are these floors? Yeah, no, st stay where the nails are so you're on a beam. There's not roots in the next door, is it? Really? Yeah, yeah. What smells this house? Mm, it's the next house. <laughs> <laughs> in the next house. Go, go, go. I don't know what this. I'm coming with you. I'm going first then. Oh, look at these super old pictures here. Again. Again, we have that religious stuff on the walls. Super old furnace. And this is the jacket right here. Jacket still hung up. Well, it's a shirt actually. But it's some newspaper stuff there. Does it have a date on it? Unfortunately, I can't see a date on this. So many books on the floor. Lords of books. Of this staircase. Really old books in here. Oh wow, his shoes are still there. I'm pretty sure that was for snuff. Oh, what's that? It's a key to something. A key for what? 
if anyone knows something that I don't, make sure you leave a comment below. I, I rely on you guys 100% to, to inform me and everyone else what you're seeing because, uh, you know, I'm no historian. Uh, just a bed in, chandelier in there. But I like this room. Oh, wow. Let's go and check over here where the rug is. Just the top floor, obviously, where the dance Wow. <laughs> C cigarette butts? <laughs> cigarette butts still there. Uh... Oh, wow. Still stuff in the drawers. Can't believe there's still stuff in the drawers. Oh, that's empty. That isn't... Oh, wait. There's a calendar. See, I am listening to you guys. I am paying attention. <laughs> a lot more detail. 19, 1949, everyone. 1949. That was the last time this place was lived in. 1949. Wait, hang on. How do you clarify that? I'm coming in. 1940. Whoa. 1949. Wait, this place was last lived in. Watch the floors. There's a calendar still on the wall. 1949. Good call, man. This is the abandoned house of 1949. Oh my god. That's the abandoned house. The oh abandoned god. house of the 19 of 1949. That's legit. That is legit. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the oldest house. I say this is the oldest house I even stepped. Hundred percent. The say. oldest abandoned house I've ever visited with belongings still inside. Insane. Cloudhouse. Cloudhouse. Yeah, but the Cloudhouse was last lived in 1957 because it had a 1957 almanac there. I remember that. I took a yeah. picture of it. So, so this is the oldest. This house. is the oldest. Wait, wait, let's get that on. We're getting this on video camera to claim that this is the <laughs> oldest house we have all ever ventured into. This yeah. still has everything inside. I mean, the Cloudhouse was 1957. There was a 1957 almanac in the Cloudhouse, but this beats it by 10 years. And this actually has more possessions inside it still. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's men. I actually, yeah. this is so huge. I mean, They're clothing. Yeah. His shoes are over there behind the door. Oh, still okay. sat there like he left them yesterday. So yep. it's insane. Damn. Exciting stuff. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I'm pretty excited about being in here. This is the oldest place I've ever explored that's been abandoned and still has possessions. It's, yeah, it blown my mind. There's another small room here. That's crazy. Yeah, that is 100% legit. Like, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen so much stuff completely abandoned like this. Ah, oh, it's an old. This floor is very, very dangerous. But I've got to take a look at these. Honestly, if I if I was to say, I w don't come in here yet. I would say they're real. Whatever they are, they're real. And these here. This must have been the lady and man of the house. Has to be. Look at those. This place is 100% legit. Oh, look at the frames. The frames are absolutely amazing. Let me try and get a better, better look at these. Look at the frames. This is insane. Super dangerous. Super, super dangerous, but so worth it. Like those over there. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They're definitely, the picture frames, oil paintings, and they're just decaying, but they look, they look like they're really rare. Could be <laughs> Da Vinci's or anything. There's an old bed there. I'm going to get out of this room. It's super dangerous. Oh, an old waffle maker. Would you look at that? <laughs> 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 oh, that's the old projector. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. No, I didn't see that. <laughs> How old is that thing, do you reckon? And if anyone's clued up, leave a comment below. Is it an ancient projector? I mean, of course it's ancient, but how old's that projector? 
Oh, there's another parts of the plane here. You see the model plane? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's another part of it there. Crazy. That's really cool. I'm gonna skip past you, Carl. Yeah, oh wait, here's another painting here. <sighs> Look at that. That is insane. There's no date on it though, I can't see a date. It's all corroding, it's all falling into bits. But it is still there for now. And I think that's a switchboard. A lot of books in here. And a bed. Oh, there's a foot. Oh, wait, wait, Carl. Yeah, what? You might have stumbled across here that no one else has seen yet. So this, when you used to when you used to buy car parts back in the day, like in the thirties and forties, fifties, when you buy a part, especially from Ford, they come in like a proper wooden box and stuff. Yeah. There's a genuine, oh, yeah, no. genuine Ford wooden box there. Genuine Ford part accessories. Crazy, Handle with care, service parts from Ford Works. That's cool. That's really, really cool. I'm so happy I saw that. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, really. You, you know what? You, you know what? I know some of you Ford collectors out there would kill for that box. We can't take anything, unfortunately. I mean, it's such a shame. If I could, I would. Some places take the stuff and just give it to give it to museums and stuff. But then again, it comes down to uh, I don't have the right to do that. This was someone's home. This is these were their possessions. And this is where the rotten in time is. Is it my right to take them and save them? I don't think it is. As much as I would love to, I just don't think we have a right. Another level there, but I'm not going up. Well, this is a box of something as well. I'm not sure what it is though. I love these old crates. They're so amazing. I'm pretty much sure that is it for this house. It's been amazing. So glad I got to see this. Definitely one of my favourite houses I've ever done. But now it's time to get out of here. Get across this super dangerous floor. This is the last room I've not seen. There's not too much in here. A lot of trinkets, a little bible. And on the side here, again, trinkets, cigarettes, the babushka's uh, scarf. We're ready to go, we're ready to get out of here. I think the spiders have been good enough so far. Let's get out of here. Wait, wait a minute, that is an amazing fridge. I keep seeing these fridges, I really want one. Shall we open it? Dude, no one else has opened it. No. Let's do it. I'm going to let you do it now. Yep. <laughs> Go on, John. Well, I don't think it's got anything in it. Really? It looks empty. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're ready. Oh, scary. <laughs> that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've watched it all to the, you know, got to this end of the video, consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. And if you want to support me, click the join button. Clicking that button will enable a $4.99 subscription, but it'll open up new perks. You'll have a, an exclusive badge next to your name so everyone can know you're a part of hashtag Team Fires. You get an exclusive icon for when I go live. You also get access to exclusive seasonal merch like the Halloween t-shirts, the Christmas t-shirts. I also do promotional discount codes on merch. And all the money that I raise on that will literally go towards traveling because traveling does cost a lot of money. And to be honest, whatever we make on YouTube doesn't cover all this. Like we're always dipping in our own pocket, we're always using our own money to do this. So eventually, yeah. The adventure's got to end at some point, but with your support, I'll continue doing all this. And any money that's raised will literally go to more explorers, including Estonia, Germany and Japan.
I can do exclusive live streams for members only and maybe once a month I'll just do a sit down talk with members for an hour and just chat to all the members. What are we going to do now boys? I think we should hit up that bunker. Bunker? I'm down for a bunker. Underground series. Underground series continues. You already know. 